Save it helps a whole bunch of things. I'm gonna go put on my fancy... Oh my god, I made that SM joke, and now I'm putting on leather and belts. Things are getting a little too real, aren't they, Squall, my boy? You're... <laughs> Don't get close to the camera again, you look weird. Good old PS1 games. My favorite. Right, training center is right this way. This is the training center. That is the parking lot. But it's still this way. This is the training center. See, I'm practically flawless. Also, everywhere else is blocked off. Hey, Dunga! Squall, I was just wondering, have you fought T. Rexor in the training center? No, I'm not sure. No. It's a giant dinosaur. You can defeat it quite easily by using status J. Let's go over the- No! Christus. Stop! I don't need your tutorials anymore, girl! Well? Use sleep attack against a T-Rex aura. And junction sleep onto your sink. Don't tell him what to do. Come on, let's go find the secret area just inside the training hut. Shut up! Alright, so to explain what she said, you go over to the- you go over to the junctions, you go on the magix, you go over here, and uh, for the attack, it is a percentage chance inflicted on it. For defense, it's a percentage chance to not happen to it, and uh, things like Asuna give you defenses all around onto like all of your abilities and everything. That's about it. I don't know if anyone has um, much here. Uh, we have very little blind, very little sleep. Does anyone have any? No blind and no sleep. No blind and no sleep. Okay, well. So at this point, we want to, um... I think selfie, we will... What is it? Uh... Switch. We'll switch Quistus and selfie. I don't... It, did I do that right? Yeah, okay. And then we're going to just de-junction Zell. He's not going to have e freed anymore. And then we'll junction Squall with e freed And Siren. Because I'm giving him Sky uh, Siren anyway. He can stay with Magic. And we'll junction Magics. 28. Not getting higher than 28. Uh, you want to have him spread out as much as possible. Usually... But at this point, I don't care. So I don't think we've gone through a single battle with her, because normally it starts on summon magic. Uh, she has status, attack, and defense, so that's how we could actually do that. Um, and we're going to put her on learning... I think tools is really good. No, th those, those aren't that good. Uh, move is actually okay, because there are hidden save points and draw points around it. I'm going to go with more defense, though. It's going to take a long time. And then the health for uh, our lovely friend. And I guess I might as well junction it on him. Um, I actually know that you want to... Uh, bl I think it's Blizzard at least. For... Uh, sure. There we go. Um, for the for the defenses, obviously you want to have as much defense on whatever is the most irritating things possible. And for me, that would be confusion. And what was the other super irritating one? Stone or petrification. Those are both extremely irritating, and they make the game a lot of not fun. But this time we get to fight weird piranha plant things. Alright, game really wants us to have sleep, apparently. And silence. So those are both very good. So, we're gonna draw- we're gonna draw up full sleep and silence on us. Also, I believe that silence actually affects, um... Oh, you know what? No. No, no, no. You don't need to be alive. There's no point in having two of you guys alive. 
I'm also glad that they can't die in one hit. Because if we have two of them, there's just more attacks going on to us and more cures that need to be expended. But with this, do I really want silence? Not really. I'm just going to draw off a bunch of sleep. Because sleep will help put the dinosaur to sleep. And it's going to be equipped onto our weapon. Um, and I'll, I'll, I might grind up these later on. But I just want to do a couple right now to increase the potency of it. That way it's not... Was it 3%? I think at 100 it's 80%, was it? Well, these guys give status effects, don't they? The sleep status effect. Which makes sure your bar doesn't go up. Fun times, eh? But when you get smacked... I could, I could actually attack her, but... My damage is a little too high, so... I would prefer not to. And then obviously, as most RPGs go... I think because these guys can inflict it, a lot of times it happens when they can inflict it. They they have a higher resistance to, like, sleep, specifically. And that was a vampiric effect, so what he stole from me, as you can see in the green, was given back to him. And that probably put me back to sleep. It, uh, yeah, it missed her because it's only sleeping effect. He should have attacked Squally Boy. We'll draw, I think, like four more times. Switch the magic over and we'll be good. I would actually much rather have Squall draw because his are, like, higher. You know what? Oh, no! <laughs> eh, whatever. All works out in the end. And this should give me pretty high up there. Because we had, like, what, eight and we were at 8%. I don't think there's anything that sits at 100%, though. Oh, it actually, the attack was actually called Vampire. I must have, like, looked away for, like, 0.2 seconds. And this will be good. Now we'll just kill the thing. I don't believe this area has much in... Oh, my God. I don't think this area has much in a way of variation on enemy types. Probably just use a potion right off the bat. To, uh heal up Quistus instead of using... No, Quistus might have Cure. Or do we not have Cure equipped on anything? Well, I'm honestly not sure right now. Imagine fight, like seeing one of these things in nature. Bug-like things freak me out. Like, above all others. So, I am uh, definitely not the one who wants to deal with that. Let me also get Silence Power for... Uh, I think it actually has an effect on, like, it's, uh... yeah, so this increases my ability with Siren. Uh, so there are those throughout the game, um, specifically this, we don't have it available yet for who it works better with. They typically go, like, this is a water thing, so the water one. Silence goes for the Siren. So I made a mistake and I actually, I accidentally junctioned them incorrectly, so I, I just fixed it. I junctioned them properly. Also, Squall's health is down pretty low, but... What is it? Uh, magic. I think we can use... Zell's magic. We cannot. Alright, fine. We'll use... Quistus' magic. And then we'll take it from Zell. And just go, Zell. Take all. There we go. So to make sure that, uh, everyone's all healed up. And looky, looky what we have. Quistus T, Rexorus. Squall, be careful, sometimes it's better. Oops, wrong one. It's used to. To run. Alright, so with this, um... Uh, what I've found is that, like, the best thing to do... I, I guess we'll just stock up, because I don't, I don't believe draw affects it at all. Is to, uh, basically just stock up, use Shiva, rinse and repeat. So I think as soon as, um, Shiva hits, it'll knock it out of its sleep. Which is gonna cause us some problems. Also, I totally forgot to give her boost. Which, uh... 
I mean, boost max capability is 255. With Shiva, I think the highest I've ever gotten was like 139. Or something like that. See, very, very weak. Oh, hello. All right, we're, we're not going to attack it. Just going to increase our chance of waking it up. And we're going to go for actually trying to successfully kill this thing. I could use um Blizzard, but... What magic do I need? Um, fire is a little bit higher. We're just going to stick with Thunder. I could use Blizzard offensively. I think it's going to wind up being worse. Um, I might do it once, maybe. Because each time you use an attack, you, I think every attack stands a greater chance of waking it up. So it would be like... For argument's sake, I don't know the numbers, but for argument's sake, it's like a 50% chance of your first attack waking it up. And so on and so forth. So for this, because he woke back up. Put him back to sleep. Don't, you don't draw. You summon Shiva again. You draw the magics out of him. It's the, uh, probably the best thing I could possibly do. Maybe magics wake him up less, because it... I don't know. So I'll leave Squall available to attack, just in case. And... I kind of wish that with this, there was a, at least a, a speed-up option available for the summons. I've talked about this before, but in fights like this, where that is the absolute smartest thing to do... Because uh, they're doing a thousand damage every single time. How could it get... I mean, each attack will wake it back up, more or less. So, it's clearly smartest to use Shiva as opposed to anything else. We'll just sit here with Squall. I guess I'll, I'll flip through. Sorry about that noise. Yeah, it's actually coming a little bit louder than I wanted to. Uh, just because I don't know if there's like a very, 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 very rare chance I could use Rizuki, which I would use because that would do like normal attack damage like seven times, which I'm doing about 130 would make it worth it. Yeah, that's why. That's why you gotta be careful on these guys. Oh, he did not get put to sleep. We're gonna summon Shiva again anyway, though, and go in for more attacks. Oh, 140. Alright, that's pretty good. And he is not going down. Luckily his, uh... Oh, no. Luckily his, um... Speed is not very high. We managed to get three attacks off on him. I think he just starts off at a really low speed, but the higher he gets up. And I guess if um, if I kind of want to be stubborn... I haven't shown Siren Summon! So I'll do that right now for Squall. I'll have him attack one more time. And if that doesn't work, I will... Because uh, I want to put him to sleep as, as much as possible before he gets another chance to attack did not work, so we'll just summon Siren in. As our new summon. And I, I try not to rely on summons for too many fights, but as, I mean, I think that's the sixth time we've summoned her doing a thousand damage. So, you know, I think you can understand. Same with the giant spider. It's roughly a thousand damage. I know that um, Siren isn't going to do like massive amounts of damage comparatively, but we haven't seen Siren before. Beautiful hair wings. The Siren Song. Only well, 200 damage. That's why I'm not summoning her against him. But I did, um... Silence him. That's super helpful. Now he can't use all those magics he has, like... I don't think he ever gets magic. If anything, it might be Quake at a very high level. Because Quake is strong magic. Oh yeah, sucker. We'll attack him again. 
Try to put him to sleep. He just does not want to stay down. Alright, so I think... If I remember correctly, the way that this works is... It, yeah, it does affect her health. Even though she does have the summon up. Should be a nice chunk of change. 400. That's good. I know you can have, you can have more status ailments affecting you at one time than one. Because there's actually a... Uh, it's, uh, it's a famous one. I can't remember its exact name. The Marble, I think, is a famous uh, enemy from Final Fantasy which can just shrek your knuckles right up. Because he inflicts like a hundred status effects at once. Not, I think he inflicts, I think it's a uh, Bad Breath inflicts all status ailments. I want to see how much damage this will do. And it may give us a chance to look at Rizukin again. Alright, that's not insignificant. Um, Alright, we're not actually going to get it. I think there might be like a luck-based stat thing or something that affects your chance of getting it. Now, here, here's something that can really suck, and I've had, it's happened to me before, I don't know if it's removed from this. Right before you're about to summon something, there's a brief moment, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, that you can get attacked, and the, the GF will not be there to protect you. Good, 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 good. GF. There we go. He's at a critical point. Maybe that actually didn't do as many attacks as I thought it would. Oh well. We want to take down this T Rexaurus. Who has. Jeez, what's his health at? That was, um. I think that was, what, five attacks? So five 150s. Let's call it six, because six is easier. That's 900 damage. The fact that we've hit the stupid thing like a thousand, not really, not literally, but we've hit the thing a ton of times. Eh, I probably could have gotten Rizukin in again, but why risk it? Um, like at this point, I just don't want to, like, summon up Shiva just because it takes too long. And, uh, I mean, two blizzards from Squall will do it. I don't know why he's so resistant. I know he could be effect afflicted with multiple status ailments. Um, maybe we just got really lucky initially. I should probably heal up Squall. Oh, baby. Yeah, there we go. Doubt and you shall receive your answer. So I'm going to heal up Squall first. And then we'll just use uh, Blizzard again. Because I'd rather his health be really close to max. Because Quistus' max is... Uh, oops. 500, I think. 5-ish. 550? I don't know. It's not too far off from that. Like, So. Meiji. For about a minute, that's a couple turns of attacks. These guys can be very, very tanky. Well, en enemies could be very tanky, especially since Quistus is only doing, you know, 200 there. But just to keep this sucker down, I guess we should have uh, junctioned... Uh, another thing that's really good is to junction Blizzard onto uh, your offense. It helps out a lot. Because every attack would do, like... Oh man, Squall would be doing like 450 every single strike. There we go, we got this sucker. Seems the Ice Age took care of the dinosaurs again. <laughs> 850, 800. All the levels. Moonstone pieces. 10 AP. All the levels. And then we actually can go... No one's actually close, but sometimes you can just double check. I like to. To double check on where we are. There we go. Uh, just magic on Quistus. Actually, magic on. We'll go Squall. And we'll just leave it because that's not actually junction on anything. Although Squall's Blizzard is. So we'll take all. 
Because his is Junction 2 is magic, I believe. No, it's Junction to Strength, so. The longer that fight went on, the more I used it, the, the weaker he actually became. So we'll just pop over here. Grab the draw over there. And that all works out in our favor. Um, just one of them? No problem. You may attack first. Oh, hers was 600. Okay, so that was actually noticeable. But not a big deal at the same time. I think it was Ifri had uh, the ability to junction it. So I could junction it away from attack. Um, I don't think I actually had a substantial... Well, I mean, I probably got 30 thunder in that last battle, so it's not a big deal. Um, but you want to keep focusing on your junctions. Um, and if you want to really, like, min-max the game, which I'm not too worried about, um, unless you're going for, like, the secret bosses, which I'm, I may or may not. I don't know. It all depends if you guys really want to see me go after them. Because uh, a lot of that I'm gonna, I would do off-camera, because I'd have to grind up to, like, max level um, to take on the true end boss. I don't know if I can actually call it the true end boss. Um, but the secret boss... Um, I would do off-camera all the leveling on it, because I'd, I'd want to be max level. If I remember correctly, he's exceptionally difficult. Safe station. I love my safe stations.